So Jaguars in day one of NFL free agency were not active at all. We didn't even hear their names in contention with any of the high priced guys that were being signed. But day two, they had a little bit more activity. Obviously earlier today, I covered the signing of Joe Schobert, middle linebacker for a five year, $50 million deal. And the Jaguars did some other minor stuff today. They started off today by releasing and cutting tight end Jeff Swain. Now Jeff Swain was a guy that we signed over from the Dallas Cowboys in the 2019 free agency period. Uh, and he really didn't do much before being IR, being put on the IR on the team. And really he just goes along with the list of other tight ends at the Jaguars generally sign in free agency. Uh, you know, in 2017, they went and signed Mike Rivera. He lasted one year. In 2018, they went out and signed Austin Safarian Jenkins. He lasted a year. And the 2019 version was Jeff Swain. So, you know, he's gone. And as we still look to solidify the tight end position, we have James O'Shaughnessy, who did really well in 2019 before uh, being put on the IR with a with a ACL injury and he's actually been recovering pretty nicely from what I hear. And we also drafted Josh Oliver in the third round of the 2019 NFL draft and he is still an unknown. But the Jaguars at this point, they can't go into the 2020 season feeling like they're comfortable at that spot. They still have room to upgrade. This isn't giving up on a guy like Josh Oliver, but we can't roll the dice and gamble that say, okay, we had the tight end position solidified. So I don't know if this, you know, we may do, do another signing like we have in the past with, uh, with you know, Mike Rivera, Austin Safarian Jenkins, where we give a guy a low money deal and we let him kind of play it out. So we'll see on all that. And the Jaguars later on placed a second, a second round tender on wide receiver Keelan Cole. Now Keelan Cole was brought on as an undirected free agent in 2017. And I believe he was the second most productive rookie wide receiver that year you know, surpassing all three of the wide receivers drafted in the top 10 of that draft with uh, Mike Williams, Corey Davis, and John Ross. So what that means is that in order for a team to get to acquire Keelan Cole, they have to give the Jaguars their second round pick. So I don't see that happening. So it looks like Keelan Cole will be on the team in, you know, 2020. And I think it's a good move. When Marquise Lee got hurt last year, he was a clear improvement. He was actually hauling in the ball really well and he helps out on special teams and he can have sticky hands at times, as we all know. So uh, Keelan Cole, it's good to see him come back and, you know, it's a relatively cheap thing to do uh, moving forward. And the last thing the Jaguars did was they signed Bengal, a former first round pick from the Cincinnati Bengals, he was a number 24 overall pick in 2014, and that is cornerback Darkies Denard. Now, the terms of this contract are not clear yet, but I would not expect it to be very much money. Now, this guy has played both inside and outside uh, as a cornerback spot, but he's seen most success as a nickel cornerback. So, I mean, really with that, this guy is not penciled in as a starter anywhere. I would actually expect this guy to be more of a backup, more of a special teamser, because DJ Hayden plays really well at the nickel spot. And Trey Herndon had a pretty good year last season after trading off Jalen Ramsey. And, you know, I would expect our starting cornerback, one of our other starting quarterbacks, to come in a draft, if I'm being completely honest. Now, the Jaguars still have some work to do. I think that they have big needs at the defensive line. I think they're going to put some, put, get at least one body in a defensive tackle and defensive end. Maybe not a super cheap guy, but, you know, a relatively, you know, a middle of the pack to lower middle of the pack type. And maybe they might sign another quarterback. I mean, really the primary holes that we have right now, like if, if the season were to start today, the positions we have huge, huge holes at are defensive tackle and defensive end. We obviously solidified the linebacker spot. We have, we still have a, a hole at cornerback right now. I would, I would think they're going to bring in some more bodies and, you know, I don't, I don't think the hole is necessarily there at safety. And then, um, so yeah, those are kind of my thoughts right now about what happened today. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below and I will keep you guys updated throughout free agency. Go Jags.